Welcome to Iberia, I am Wolf, and today we'll be exploring Ptolemaic Egypt, one of the kingdoms that emerged from the ashes of Alexander's empire, ruled by arguably the most successful Diadochi family ever. During Ptolemaic rule, Egypt became one of the richest and most powerful nations in the Mediterranean, and we are about to submerge into the world of the Ptolemaic Egypt. Before the arrival of the Greeks, Egypt was ruled by the Persians. However, in 332 BCE, Alexander the Great conquered Egypt and established the Greek Ptolemaic dynasty. Under Ptolemy I and II, the kingdom was stabilized and the economy thrived. This period of Greek rule brought about significant cultural, intellectual and economic advancements. Agriculture was the backbone of the economy in Ptolemaic Egypt. The Nile River provided fertile lands for farming and the Ptolemaic rulers implemented irrigation systems to increase crop production. The main crops were wheat, barley, grapes and olives. But it wasn't just agriculture that fueled the economy. Trade played a major role as well. Ptolemaic Egypt was a major hub of trade, with Alexandria its primary center. The kingdom exported grain, papyrus, textiles and luxury goods like perfumes, jewelry and spices. It imported luxury items from Greece, Rome and the Near East. The main trade partners were India, which was a major source of exotic goods like spices, ivory and precious stones. The Ptolemies also maintained trade relationships with other Mediterranean powers such as Rome and Carthage, as well as with various kingdoms in the Near East. The main trade routes were the Nile River and the Mediterranean Sea. The Ptolemies were known for their love of knowledge and intellectual pursuits. The Library of Alexandria, one of the seven wonders of the ancient world, contained over 500,000 books and was a symbol of the intellectual achievements of the Ptolemaic dynasty. It attracted scholars from all over the Mediterranean world, who came to study, research and exchange ideas. Another iconic landmark of the Ptolemaic era was the Lighthouse of Alexandria, also known as the Pharos of Alexandria. Built during the reign of Ptolemy II, the lighthouse was located on the island of Pharos in the harbour of Alexandria and stood at a height of over 130 meters. The lighthouse served as a beacon for sailors, guiding them safely into the harbour, and it was one of the tallest man-made structures of its time. Religion played an important role in Ptolemaic Egypt. While the Ptolemies were of Greek origin, they recognized the importance of the Egyptian religion to the local population and actively patronized it. Egyptian gods and goddesses were worshipped alongside Greek deities, and there was a syncretic blending of the two religions. For example, the god Serapis was created as a fusion of the Greek god Zeus and the Egyptian god Osiris. The goddess Isis was also popular among both Greeks and Egyptians. The Ptolemies supported the construction and maintenance of temples throughout the kingdom and many of these temples were dedicated to both Greek and Egyptian deities. In fact, the Temple of Athor at Dendera, built during the reign of Ptolemy VII, features Greek inscriptions alongside traditional Egyptian hieroglyphs. Despite the syncretism, there were occasional tensions between the Greek and Egyptian populations, particularly in the early years of Ptolemaic rule. For example, the Greek ruler Ptolemy IV is said to have caused offense by publicly mocking the Egyptian gods during a festival. However, over time the Ptolemies were able to balance the two religions and establish a religious system that accommodated both Greek and Egyptian beliefs. This allowed for a degree of stability and unity in the kingdom which helped to ensure its longevity and success as a center of culture, commerce and learning in the ancient world. The Ptolemaic era was a time of great cultural, intellectual and economic advancement. The kingdom's legacy continues to influence the world to this day and its achievement in areas such as education, trade and architecture continue to inspire us. Me at least, for sure. The stability brought about by Ptolemy I and II laid the foundations for the prosperity of the kingdom. From agriculture to trade, from the library to the lighthouse, the Ptolemaic era was a truly golden age for Egypt. Well, let me know, would you like to visit Ptolemaic Egypt? What, what is the greatest achievement the Ptolemies actually did? And, you know, do you think that the Ptolemies were actually good rulers? Well, let me know all about it on the comments below. I have been Wolf, stay wonderful, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.